to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to work with Leonardo DiCaprio and making him talk. I'm just kidding. But today's episode is gonna be really exciting because I am gonna show you how to animate any picture and to create this sort of effect. Now, uh, this is great. Uh, everything is automated, meaning I have used expression, so there is no hard work on keyframing the mouth up and down again and again. And uh, before I get started with the video, uh, the inspiration for making this tutorial comes from ERB, Epic Rap Battles of History. So a big thanks to this, um, you know, Epic Rap Battles of History YouTube channel for giving me the idea of making this tutorial. All right, so again, this is awesome people what you're gonna create and this is without rotation. So this is just, um, you know, the mouthpiece going up and down and there's an audio track over here. I'm not playing it, but um, it's here. And so this is just going up and down and this is with a little bit of rotation. So I think the rotation part looks a little bit more interesting and I think uh, if, you, if you want to go for this, super, but sometimes it may not work so you have to check both of them out. I'm going to show you how to create both of them, it's very easy. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have awesome people, uh, the image. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to rename all my layers properly. This is something that a lot of people don't do and then they regret it. So the mouthpiece and the face. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna select the mouthpiece, take my pen tool, zoom into his face, and I'm basically gonna mask out the lower jaw chin part of his face. And sometimes you get confused as to how much to take this start from here, and this is not the right place to start. You basically also people want to imagine a box, okay? You're drawing a box, but with a little bit of curvature um, below. So near his chin, there's gonna be a curvature, I'm gonna right there. Add one right there, there, and boom. So again, we have a nice box sort of thing happening because there are no curvature, there are no uh, you know bezier handles over here, just at the bottom part to control or to create that chin effect. Super. Now, if I was to solo this layer, you can see that I have indeed masked out the face, but we have a problem because the other layer is whole. So if I was to animate my face right now, you can see gonna get that chin below so what I can do is I can copy the mask to the face layer and I'm just gonna invert this so now awesome people I'm gonna have like a black space when there is animation happening now if you start the animation right now it would work I'm not saying it would not work but it would not look very nice a better thing to do is to add a little bit more depth by just taking these two nodes over here that we have made and bringing it under the chin part that we have uh, masked out. So basically the mouth part, just make it below that. So what it's gonna look like is this. See that? So now if you were to look like this, this looks a lot better to me at least. Maybe it's just the image, but I do this all the time if I'm doing my client's work. Sometime back, say a month back, I had to do this sort of animation for a client and he was really impressed, like he, he was happy with what he received. So uh, this video is good, this SVD effect is really good and uh, you know, maybe you want to use this in the next video. So make sure you do this, okay? All right, I'm gonna bring in my audio layer now. Right click on the audio layer, effect, oh sorry, go keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. And basically what we have done right now is we have added a keyframe to every single frame of the audio. So. Here is our audio now, we can switch this off, we won't need this. And th there are basically three effects applied, left channel, right channel, and both channels. We do not need right and left channel, we don't want to work with stereo, we want to work with, we want to work with mono. So uh, select both of them, delete, superb, so we just have both channels to work with. Now awesome people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the actual expressions and the animation part. So select your mouth layer, hit the P key for position. Alt, click on the stopwatch for expression control, like you can type in your expressions now. And what do you have to add? Okay, look, what, what we're gonna do awesome people is you're gonna take the big whip and attach it to the slider. And if you can't see that actually over here, but a small two line or three line, depending on, on, you know, on your screen size, uh, this code is being typed out. Now what this means is um, After Effects created a variable temp equals this value so this comp this comp meaning youtube comp in which there's a layer called audio amplitude this is this in which it has an effect called both channels slider and basically temp equals this value 
and then we have created an array saying temp temp this array basically is for x and y now awesome people if you don't understand this it's okay this is for high and off reflex users but if you just follow along with me you will be able to create it for your videos no problem so i'm gonna skip the top explanation and let's just get to the technique so basically temp is a good name uh we will delete this the first temp that's for the x value and we'll add a zero over there and next awesome people we're gonna come to the start of the brackets so basically just use your uh, arrow keys and go to the start part and go to value plus just type this much value plus and let go and now some people if you were to play this you can see there is some sort of animation now you know like for example also people this image that i'm using for the tutorial is huge you know so then like the movement is very very small so if this is the case with you if you got an image from a client or if you downloaded something which is extraordinarily great huge 4000 something something uh what you can do is this you can intensify the effect by not actually some people would do this they would increase the audio level don't do this because this is going to distort your audio no so don't do this but what you can do is go to temp okay or actually go over here to temp not the main temp come over here to zero comma temp just add in a small um you know change into two so we ha basically have a code which now says hey, wait a sec not this uh, we basically have a code which says temp equals this effect and then we have typed in our array definition value plus zero comma temp into two just remember we are doing the into two part for getting a better effect so getting more movement now if i were to play this you can see you're having more movement in the mouth now i'm not playing um the audio because i'm not sure if this is copyrighted stuff or no um so i am not taking the risk of playing it but believe me if you were to uh, you know animate this on your clips you would definitely get the movement if you are following my steps right you would get the movement now you could run into one problem is that even when the uh, wait a sec, even when the like there is nothing in the audio like if, if you see the first five or so frames there is no voice there is absolutely no voice here wait a sec okay waveform come on Help me a little bit. Okay, waveform is not going to come up. But basically, awesome people, for the first five frames, there is no audio, and the mouthpiece just stays in the air. So what you can do is you can just delete all these keyframes, and when there is actual animation uh, right there, I'm going to delete all the other keyframes, and I'm just going to take the mouthpiece up here like this. And then you're going to have something like this. See, works fine. Now, of course, awesome people, for my demonstration, I just uh, spent a little more time added you know just adding a little bit more production quality again it's all about how much time you want to spend on this video how much time you want to give for the video looking good and depending on that or some people you're gonna have a better result now uh before i stop the tutorial because that's it this is the technique your mouthpiece should be uh, animating by now uh, but before i stop the tutorial let me show you how to add that rotation thing because for this example the rotation part does look good but I have had, uh, you know, like um, I have worked with clients and with their images in which sometimes the rotation doesn't really look good. So, uh, you know, try this out. Uh, go to the mouth layer, hit the R key and just basically add a small wiggle expression. So wiggle comma one comma five close. Oh, sorry, not 50. Five. There you go. Close the parentheses, hit the enter key and boom, you have, you know, a slide animation. Now again. Awesome people, the tracks that I've used here, they are different, so you're gonna get a different result. So you have to experiment a little bit. Maybe you'll have to add um, a slider control, attach a wiggle over there, animate the slider, do that, and you'll get a much better result than what I am getting right now. But this is the technique. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, of course. And if you have any doubts, my Facebook link is in the description. Come talk to me, I'll be more than happy to solve your problems and just help you out with your work. Thanks so much and take care.